this, this, yeah, so my final results, it's bomb, it's bomb, it's bomb. I think my hair looks bomb, y'all. Like, I am super happy that I have finally found something that will give me a bomb wash and go. <laughs> Hey guys, it's your girl Jay, and today I have for you a wash and go video. I'm going to be using Kimberly Sherelle's five step wash and go series. If this is something that you guys want to see, keep on watching. Step one of the perfecting the wash and go videos is to do an Indian healing clay mask. And then I have the apple cider vinegar. So it looks like that. I'm gonna spray my hair with water first. That's what Kimberly did. So that's what I'm gonna do. And so now I'm gonna apply a bit of the mask and I'm excited. I got that much, but it's probably too much, but. Kimberly was very specific in saying that you need to work in small sections and you need to make sure you take the time to find the curls. Cause if you don't do that, then there's really no point in doing this mask. Okay, so I've never did this before, so I'm gonna be looking in my mirror to like see what I'm doing. I still have that dot. And I gotta make sure that I'm getting it on my roots. Wow, I think my curls look great right now. So I'm gonna just keep doing this. I'm excited. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna do this on all of my hair and I will come back once I'm completely done. Okay guys, so I just finished putting in all of the masks. This is what my hair is looking like. It's all to the back. Let me show you what it looks like. But yeah, so I'm going to wait for this to dry. Okay guys, so I'm out of the shower, obviously. So while I was in there, I went ahead and I rinsed out the clay mask. And then I did a co-wash just like she did with this detangling conditioner that I had. Um, but my hair didn't really feel clean enough using that because it wasn't a co-wash product. So I just decided to go ahead and shampoo my hair. And then after I rinsed that out, I put in my deep conditioner. I put a bag over my head and then I got out of the shower and I used my blow dryer attachment to get some heat with my deep condition. I got back in the shower, I rinsed that out and I put my leave-in in and then I just decided to go ahead and style while I was in the bathroom. I went ahead and I sectioned my hair and I put the gel in and I did shingling and raking and prayer hands. I did a lot of stuff and this is what it looks like right now. Um, so this is just, that's that. So after Kimberly finished in um, with her styling, she sat under her dryer. I don't have a dryer that's not going to mess up my hair if I try to dry it right now. So I'm just gonna have to air dry. So it's five o'clock right now. Hopefully my hair dries before I go to bed tonight. I'll probably go to sleep at like midnight or something, so. But I will say like when I was in the shower doing my hair, after I rinsed out that clay mask, my hair looked and felt amazing. Like that mask really did something to my hair. My curls were clumped. And everything just looked good and then I really do think it was because like I went in smaller sections and just really took my time so hopefully it comes out nicely it feels like this side is like a little bit puffy but I need to wait for my hair to dry so once my hair is dry I'll be back 
So it's the next day and I decided to use the plopping method to preserve my curls overnight. I think it worked very well, my curls look fine. And this is what my hair looks like. It's not completely dry, the back is still wet. So we're on step four of her series. In the video, she diffused her hair. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So here's really where the stretching part of step four comes in. Diffusing was included in that. But now I'm just concentrating the heat on my roots to try to stretch my hair. Okay guys, so this is the final result. I think my hair looks bomb, y'all. Like, it looks so good. It's already big, so I'm not gonna do any fluffing or anything like that. I have great definition right now, and my hair is big. It's also like, it has movement, so that's, that's nice. Okay. Step five is wrapping your hair. I kind of did that last night. I had to wrap it up because it wasn't dry and I already mentioned I did the plopping method. So she said if you have a gel cast, now would be the time to add oil. I have a habit for adding oils earlier in my process, but I didn't use any this time. This, this five steps, these steps, they work. I never had a wash and go that looked this good after it was done, after it was completely dry. I'm so happy with my results. My hair looks bomb. AF. Okay, so that is the end of the video, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below telling me what you think of my hair, telling me if you're gonna try out Kimberly Sherelle's Perfecting the Wash and Go Five Step Series. Okay, and that is it. So thanks for watching. Bye.